Hello biologists and we are looking at communicable diseases, uh, OCR A-level specification for A-level biology, uh, this is 4.1.1. We're going to be looking at lesson objective F, the structure of the different roles and actions of T and B lymphocytes and this is the specific immune response. So in previous videos we've looked at a non-specific primary response and that is before the pathogens have entered a cell, uh, that's like the skin acting as a barrier. And we've also looked at a non-specific response once the pathogen has entered into the body, and that was phagocytosis, which we looked at in the previous video. And now we're looking at a specific immune response. Um, so first of all, we need to go through what an immune response actually is. Uh, so the definition of immune response is taken directly from the MARC scheme and, in, and therefore is in a red box. It's a response to an antigen and involves lymphocytes or the production of antibodies. Um, so this one is slightly different to the other videos because I'm going to attempt to draw, so please excuse my 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 drawing um so we have two um responses here we have a cell mediated response and we also have a humoral response now the cell mediated response involves t cells whereas a humoral response involves b cells now t cells these mature in the thymus gland so t thymus and b cells these mature in bone marrow so b for bone marrow so from the previous lesson you'll remember that we have an antigen presenting cell uh, and on there, obviously, we have the antigens that have been taken from the pathogen during phagocytosis. Now, what happens here is the first step to our um, immune response. Apologies for the terrible writing. This is my T helper cell. And my T helper has on it a specific and complementary, those two words get you lots of marks in the exam, a specific and complementary receptor to the antigen on the antigen presenting cell and this is clonal selection so this is basically in fact where the t helper cell identifies that i have an antigen from a foreign pathogen in my body and t helper cell will undergo clonal expansion clonal expansion by mitosis, that's a second marking point, to produce four different cells. It's going to produce more T helper cells, which we've just looked at here, T helper cells, and they're all like identifying the antigen on the antigen cell. It also makes T killer cells. Now, T killer cells, um, these kill our own body cells that are infected by viruses and have become virus making factories. We also get T memory cells, which produce an, um, an immunological memory and allows your body to recognize any other pathogens that enter your body at a later stage that carry the same specific antigen. We also have T regulatory cells, which put T reg, T reg, T regulatory cells. These suppress, suppress the immune system and help to maintain homeostasis and they also prevent autoimmune diseases which we're going to have a look at and later on so a humoral response so after our t helper cell here has undergone clonal selection and identified that we have a, a foreign antigen in my body it's also going to release uh, two chemicals uh, well these chem this chemical has two names it can either be called an interleukin or it can be called a cytokine and these trigger our B cells to undergo clonal expansion. So clonal expansion is by mitosis, and this is where my cell will differentiate into other cell types. So our cell types here are B memory cells, which undergo, which allow us to have immunological memory, the same job as a T memory cell. It allows us to have immunological memory against a pathogen, and it allows us to remember our, well our, our Memory cells are able to recognize a antigen from a pathogen that it's met before. We also have it, it making a lot of plasma cells. Now, these are very, 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 very important because these are the cells that make lots of antibodies, which are going to help us fight off this infection and this pathogen. And you're going to look at the structure of an antibody in uh, the next few lesson objectives and also their role. Um, so there we are, we have covered all of those different things. There's a lot to take in here, so please do read around this subject area. Uh, and guys, remember in your exam, don't use the words it, they, amount, or size, and good luck with your exams. Try to be specific as you can with your responses using the key terminology within this lesson objective. Guys, good luck.